Thursday in Minop traditional bazaar. A kaleidoscope of colors and cultures. Some consider this place as a museum of ancient arts. The Thursday market is situated at the heart of Minop city in Hormozgan province. The place is believed to be one of the oldest bazaars in the region. The handicraft of Western Hormozgan is found here in abundance. Only in a few bazaars one can find such diversity. Despite all the glamour, Minop's traditional marketplace is also regarded as an important center of trade for the locals. Many historians and travelers in the past have written about the significance of the bazaar for the people. One of them was Alphonse Gabriel, an Austrian physician who had traveled to Iran three times along with his wife in the end of the 20th century. This is what he wrote about the Minab Bazaar. Nomadic tribesmen from the mountains and plains arrive from all across the region at the market. The Baluch in their colorful outfits, the ragged Bashakords, the fashionable and proud people from Rudan and Rudbar, where beautiful baskets are sold. پنجشنبه بازار میناب از قدمت 3000 سال برخورد داره 70 80 درصد مردم شهرستان میناب و توابع صنایع دستیشون میارن و در پنجشنبه بازار به معرض دید و فروش میرسونن پنجشنبه بازار از قدیم از حالا نیست از قدیم که پدران من می اومدن و سفالگر بودن the people's presence in this market went beyond trade activity. Next to doing business, the market was a place where people used to meet and socialized. Some even found their favorite future partner in the bazaar and later married each other. ما شنیدنشو داشتی بودیم کار سنوی دستی خوبی داره برای همین با بچه همون با خانواده اومدیم ببینیم Since long ago, this marketplace was built to serve as a center for handicraft and traditional homemade products. In the old days, the Minop Thursday market comprised of several sections dedicated to barbers, firewood sellers, cattle feedstock sellers, basket weavers, and a section called the race field where livestock and animals such as horses and donkeys were sold. With only little change, today nearly all these sections still exist in the market. Prior to settling in villages, just after abandoning caves, humans chose to live in huts made of clay or straws. Settlement under huts could be regarded as the first social institution that came to existence in Iran, a lifestyle which continued despite the development of villages and cities. Leaves of date palm and wild palms called daws are used in building a settlement like this. These houses are usually round. This type of historic settlement has been on the decline in the past decades and is rarely found in a number of provinces in Iran. However, in the past few years, there has been a new approach towards the hut aimed at attracting tourists. Today in parts of southern Iran, like Sirik in Hormozgan province, hut hotels are built to accommodate eco-tourists looking for a pure and unforgettable experience. On our way back to Bandar Abbas, we came across another attractive spot of Hormozgan province. 
Tazaj waterfall in a region called Haji Abad. The place is a summer hideout with seasonal rivers and waterfalls. Haji Abad County is known for its vast date palm groves. Tazaj village is some 17 kilometers to the south of the road, which connects Haji Abad to Bandar Abbas. Haji Abad region is known for its beautiful nature. On the mountainside, the date palms have created a unique landscape, next to Zizifus and fig trees. Amir Mehdi Kazemi for Iran.